welcome back. A lot of experts suggest children should start learning basic coding skills at an early age, but some parents don't have the resources to help their kids learn this skill. So joining me now to tell us more about how you can teach your child coding is Pam and Linus. Thanks for being here this morning. Hi. Hi. Uh, so we have this Botley toy. It's a robot. Okay. And it's for kids five and up, which is great because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of coding toys are for older kids, I feel like. And the other great thing about it is this is all you need. You don't need... Um, you an iPod, a a you don't need a oh, no tablet. iPad, no tablet, you don't none need of that. Any screens? This mm -hmm. is all you need. So uh, maybe Linus, you want to show like Linus, how to make it, it go? So you can press the buttons mm -hmm. to make it go forward. Okay. Like two forward buttons. Okay. And then you press the okay. Let me go. This button. And he should go. Should be moving. Well, well, you know. I think we turned oh, it off. Turn we it turned it off, guys. I mean, you know, <laughs> power helps sometimes. There we go. So okay. Oh, and it makes cute noises. So while this is happening, Pam, tell us about the importance of coding and why kids should start at an early age. Oh. Whoa, yeah, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the earlier they learn, the you know, earlier they can grasp the skills that are needed. And mm -hmm. a lot of parents just don't have the resources to help kids learn how to code. I mean, it's, and this is a really simple way for kids to get started. Mm -hmm. He's 10, and he still thought it was really fun as obstacle courses. And um, anything that makes it more fun to learn, mm -hmm. you know, is going to make it uh, more interesting for them and I mean goodness the future is yeah. <laughs> coding is a vital ki uh, skill for kids. Now when you talk about coding what exactly do you mean by that? Just kind of so give us a quick detail. The coding would be like giving the robot a series of instructions mm -hmm. um, and then having it follow the instructions and it can do like loops and this is how all programs are you know the basics of programming is you know basic instructions mm -hmm. and loops and when they can get the f you know get two forward and one right they can you know they you know program the next yeah google and this know? is I all mean, pro this hey. is all programmed by like you said this this particular one mm -hmm. Motley's ages five and up and still talking to us yeah, it's very um, <laughs> and linus really quickly how did this make you really interested in more like science and technology and coding uh, does it seem more fun to you now? Like more, more interesting to you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And it makes cute noises, huh? And it yeah. makes cute noises, right? I mean, you know, really fun. Who could resist? So, last question for you, Pam. Yes. How much does something like this cost, and where can parents? So come this in? kit is really cool. Um, because it's got 77 pieces, it's got like an obstacle course set, and it's got this cool thing where it can follow a line, and then it makes real, it like whistles. It's really cute. <laughs> um, uh, and it can like you can. Anyway, it's got a bunch of really cool like. Mm -hmm. uh, Accessories or right, um, and I think this was seventy nine ninety nine. Okay, and uh, you can get it online. At, I've seen it online at a bunch of websites, but Learning Resources is the brand. So awesome, it's a great start. Love it, Pam Linus. Thank you so much for showing us about coding. We're gonna play with this a little more while Damon gives us the weather. Maybe the robot will make the way over <laughs> to the weather center. <laughs> you can do that.